सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू प्लेसमेंट स्टडी वी आर बैक अगेन विथ येट अनदर वीडियो ऑन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे सो टूडेज प्रॉब्लम इज शॉर्टेज रेंज इन बी एस टी एंड इट्स अ हार्ड प्रॉब्लम राइट सो लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट आउट फर्स्ट सो गिवेन अ बी एस टी विच इज बाइनरी सर्च ट्री वी हैव टू फाइंड द शॉर्टेस्ट रेंज एक्स टू वाई सर्च डैट एटलीस्ट वन नोड ऑफ एवरी लेवल ऑफ द बी एस टी लाइज इन द रेंज राइट and it is also written if there are multiple ranges with the same gap that is y minus x if there are multiple ranges then we have to return the range with the smallest x so that is fine so if you observe the bst here right so this is the bst and if you observe the output the output is 6 to 11 right so if you carefully observe the node 8 lies between 6 to 11 right then out of 3 and 10 the node 10 lies between 6 to 11 then out of 2 6 and 14 the node 6 lies between 6 and 11 then out of 4 7 12 the node 7 lies between 6 to 11 right then out of 11 and 13 the node 11 lies between 6 and 11 okay so we have to return the smallest range so let's see how can we do this problem so before doing this problem uh, let's quickly divide this question right so here we have to find the shortest range so one thing that is needed here is that you have to uh, like form the level order bst right level order traversal you have to do so you have to store 8 3 10 level wise right L let's see why we are doing this 11 and 13 so you have to store this and for that you can use a vector of vector in order to store the nodes present in different levels right so that can be done but before moving further let me tell you the prerequisites for this video the prerequisites for this video is that you should know bst you should know level order right then you should know heaps right once the level order traversal is calculated and is stored in a answer vector then we can surely say like our now task is reduced to find the smallest range in this k list right and basically this list if you observe they are sorted right in nature so now our target is to calculate the smallest range in these k sorted lists right so how can we do this so we have to find the smallest range right so here uh, if you think greedily we need to take a priority queue and this priority queue will be a mean priority queue right so let's see what data are needed in order to do this so we need to have the element as well as what is the row number and what is the column number so if you observe this as a 2d matrix then you can store the row number as well as the column number of this right so let me write it again so just a second so the data is 8 3 10 2 6 14 4 7 12 11 13 so basically our priority queue will be of type pair of int comma pair of int comma int right and basically this will be the element this will be the row and this will be the column and since it is a mean priority queue so here you have to write vector of pair int int right so same thing you have to copy here and then the comparator which is greater pair of int comma pair int int right and let's name our priority queue as pq so first of all what you have to do you have to push the first elements first right and we will require a minimum 
as well as a maximum why because we have to have the range so in order to achieve that we need two variables minimum and maximum so first of all it will be pushed into our priority queue so let me push the first elements then we will see what elements come to the top so two will be coming out at the top and two's row number will be second and its column number will be zero okay then three will be coming uh, three's row number is one and column number is again zero then four will come four row number is third and column number is zero again assuming zero based index indexing for rows right because this data will be stored in a vector of vector right so it will be a 2d vector then 8 will come its row number is 0 and column number is also 0 and finally 11 will come its row number is 0 and uh, column number is again 0 right so you have to write this now first of all uh, and when we are doing this we have to maintain the minimum as well as the maximum so minimum will be now 2 and maximum will be 11 for now right so now 2 comma 2 comma 0 will come out so here the element is 2 the row is again 2 and column is 0 now we will check if column plus 1 is less than the size of this vector right because this is our current vector if we take out 2 so if column so if first column exists yes it exists so we will push 6 comma the row number for 6 is nothing but 2 and column will be 1 so this will be pushed into our priority queue and we will check right because we have to find the range with the smallest x right so we will check if uh, like the minimum or basically if the maximum minus minimum is greater than our current uh, let's say let let's take two variable a and b right and let's initialize a with minimum and maximum with 11 so now our maximum and minimum will be updated once 6 is pushed the maximum will be maximum of current maximum and this 6 right the maximum will be against 11 and minimum will be again 2 because uh, no minimum will be updated now because 3 is at the top so minimum will be 3 now we will check if maximum minus minimum is greater than b minus a right so maximum minus minimum will be 8 which is or basically you can say maximum minus minimum will be 9 which uh, 8 and b minus a will be 9 right so no updations so in this way now 6 will be pushed and then again for the next time 3 will be at the top and let's push 6 into this and this will be deleted so 3 1 comma 1 comma 0 and 6 will be pushed here so 6 comma 2 comma 1 right so now next time 3 will come again we will check and we will update this according to this formula right and we will keep doing this right till we get the maximum and minimum and once if this is true right then a will be updated as minimum and maximum will be updated by or basically we can say here if you observe so maximum will be updated by or b minus a is greater than maximum minus minimum so a will be updated by minimum and b will be updated by maximum so in this way you can do this right so you can dry this dry run this on your own and finally you will get if you do this step for all the values present so you will be getting as minimum as or a as 6 and b as 11 so i hope you can do this on your own right so let's discuss the code so here what we have done first of all we have calculated the level order traversal do let me know in the comments if you want 
the video for level order traversal i will be happy to make it right so it is basically level order traversal what it does it returns a vector of vector right which is known as levels right so it returns a vector of vector and it stores the values present in the vector okay as discussed now this we will take a priority queue of pair intent so i have defined pi as pair int comma int okay now minimum will be initialized with maximum int max and maximum will be initialized with int min and now the first elements of all the rows will be pushed similarly the row will be pushed and the column will be pushed okay and minimum and maximum will be updated and initially we will take two variables a and b a will be initialized with minimum and b will be initialized with maximum now we will take out the first element and now we will check if the current column plus one is less than that vector size if that is true then row is same which was earlier and column will be column plus one okay and we will push the element now we will update our minimum to the element present at the top of the priority queue and maximum will be updated to current maximum and the element which is currently being executed okay so that is nums r comma r of c now we will check if the current difference that is b minus a is greater than maximum minus minimum okay so i mistakenly uh, wrote this so here this will be the sign so if this is greater then a will be updated to uh, minimum and b will be updated to maximum otherwise if this is not the case like if the we have exhausted the column then we will simply break out okay and finally we will return a comma b so our problem was to implement this function so what i do did i stored all the levels right in levels uh, vector using the level order uh, function and then i returned the smallest range and i passed levels into it and the smallest range function is this so okay so i hope the logic behind this problem is clear okay and uh, the time complexity and space complexity for this will be first of all we are doing a level order traversal so that will be taking order of n time and then in priority queue we are processing each of the elements right so that will be also taking roughly uh, order of n and each of the elements that get inserted into the priority queue will be a log n operation so that will be n log n but uh, that is needed for this question okay so in this way we are able to uh, solve this problem so i hope that is clear and do let me know if uh, you have any problem okay and uh, if you have liked this video please like this a video and subscribe to our channel in order to receive such more updates okay so you can dry run this on your own and we will meet again in the next part thanks for watching